But before you can have a church, God has to send a man. You cannot be saved without a pastor in your life. Well, I'm going to say that for the rest of you. You cannot be saved. Oh, Lord, I ain't supposed to preach tonight. There are some, especially in our neck of the woods, they feel as if they can live for God on their own. They don't have to be accountable to anybody but the Lord. But I have found amongst such that believe that particular way, they end up crazy. They end up losing it one way or another. The iron will get dull if there's not another iron of light, precious faith to come together and just make contact. Such a man, for the better part of 42 years now, is that of Danny Short. He came with a Bible and a burden to preach this Acts 238 message. To baptize people in Jesus' name for people to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That people could experience God in their personal life. I owe this man my life personally he has been gracious to me in my life and not just in my life of being his grandson but being a fellow minister of the gospel he has not hindered me he has not uh, took advantage of a young man he hasn't grew jealous of a young man but he determined in himself to make sure that a young man could learn a little bit differently than what he had to because the world that the young man would be facing and preaching to would not be the same world that he has preached to so I want us to all stand all over the house I want us to honor the man of God the angel of his house, the man sent from God to Raven, the shepherd, if this is your home church, the shepherd of your soul, your brother in the Lord, the watchman in the watchtower, in the office of a pastor, there are many obstacles, many hurdles, um, I don't know how it works out like this, but it's almost like people treat the office of a pastor like a political office. And everybody, it, it's kind of like elbows. You always got two of them. What you mean? Somebody's always got an opinion about something. And men, women, ignorant, good intended people uh, take for granted what it means not just to have Danny Short, but just to have a man sent from God. He's not the governor, he's not the mayor, he's not the president. Neither will he follow suit. We've learned that in the past 18 months um, this is the church of the living God it's an entity that is in this world but not of this world we are governed by God Almighty but I want to bring our pastor to this pulpit and I want him to preach the word to us 
And I want Bible Way Church to get behind the man of God as he comes to preach. Will you give Pastor a great big hand clap? introduction like that, I'm not sure I'll be able to preach to you without crying. I'm so glad to have a grandson, not only one, but two. And I feel like they love me so much, and they know I love them. I love God's way of living, best of all. And if I can't be a help to you, I sure don't want to hurt you. I thank God for Brother Austin. I depend on him. I place my lot in his hands. There's very few people you can say that to. Because most people try to take advantage of you, but thank God. Him, my brother Seth, and brother Seth is a great man too, amen. I say, what can I help you do? Brother Austin, he said, you take it easy. <laughs> brother Austin, you touch my heart. Amen. Thank God. And I would like to try to preach tonight. And if I was to title this message tonight, it would be Praise Him. I want to preach on the praises tonight, the beginning of the revival. And I'm praying every night you come in this building, you'll have the praise on your heart and on your mind. Because he lives in the praise of his people. He wants his people to praise him in the morning, in the noontime. In the nighttime, he wants us to praise him. Uh, woo, hallelujah. Uh, I feel the glory of God here tonight. Uh, I feel the sweet Holy Ghost power. Uh, uh, my God, hear me. Uh, I want you to turn your Bibles to the book of Psalms, uh, uh, chapter 149 and maybe a chapter 150. Uh, I'm going to read some from both of them tonight. Uh, amen. And I want to say, we need to praise him. How many knows if we want him to live? Honey, we gotta praise him. I feel the glory of God. I'm glad God has spared me another year. Honey, that we could be in another homecoming and see the people gather together and begin to praise Jesus. Amen. And that song that Brother Austin sung, huh? honey, he says it all. Huh? And they say amen, hallelujah. Huh? Honey, a lot of people don't believe Jesus is all in all. Huh? Honey, but they ain't no room for no other God. Huh? He said, I'll have no other gods before me. Huh? Honey, we know a lot of people's got a lot of gods. Huh? Honey, before them, but they ain't but one God. Huh? They ain't but one Lord, one faith, huh? and one baptism. Uh, amen and I don't know where you get it uh, if you read and study the word of God uh, and if ever a pastor or minister would preach you uh, uh, what does saith the word of the Lord uh, they preach you that Jesus is God almighty uh, and there's no other God uh, the more incredible uh, well God I'm glad uh, honey we've got a God we can praise uh, and that we can worship and we can honor him. And if you have need of anything, any acts of him, I feel the glory of God. 
But the Bible said from Psalms 149, verse 1, I said, Praise ye the Lord. I sang unto the Lord a new song. And thank you, Brother Austin, you sung a new song. Amen. That was praise. And he had to his year. Raise him hands and go with him. <laughs> Oh, and he said, in his praise in the congregation of saints, you are the saints of God. Amen. And God is looking for you to praise him, worship him. And we shouldn't have to tell you to raise your hands, honey, and praise the Lord tonight. Honey, you ought to be willing to raise him hands and wave them to Jesus. Well, oh my God. God, hear me. And they don't need to be looking around and see who's done what. Honey, you need to get your mind centered upon the praise of him. Amen. Because he lives in the praise of his people. If we want to make him happy and bring joy honey, unto his heart is when we begin to praise him. We lift up holy hands before him. Help. Oh, when we shout and when we dance and when we run the aisle, honey, has given praise, honey, unto Jesus Christ tonight. Amen. I want you to know, honey, I'm going to praise him. Honey, the Bible said, let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion and be joyful in their king. Honey, we want to be the most joyful people. Honey, they is upon the face of the earth. Honey, why? Because we are apostolic. Jesus' name. Bend down to the watery grave. Receive the Holy Ghost and fire. Honey, we got something honey, to praise him for. Amen. I want you to know, honey, if this world, and it would turn from their wicked ways and begin to pray and seek the face of God. You're talking about joy, and it coming into this old world, and if we would see joy unspeakable, a full of glory, and if we got something, and it to praise Him about. Well, hallelujah! Yeah. Amen. I feel the hand of God. I feel the glory of the Lord. And if there's something in this place tonight, and this is only and it's a beginning. Woo, hallelujah. Well, hallelujah. I pour it in, Lord, and I'll pour it out. Amen. The Bible said, let them praise his name in the dance. Praise his name in the dance. Hallelujah. And there's nothing wrong. And it danced in the spirit of the Lord. There's nothing wrong. And it was hallelujah and shouting and calling upon that name and that makes the devil mad and I am glad well hallelujah A lot of people won't call his name. Amen. They reject the name of Jesus. But you're rejecting the very thing that you need. Amen. In the end, you might make it a while through this old world. And if there's coming the end time, there's coming the time you're going to need Jesus. And more than you, I'm here to tell the people, I'm going to praise him. Let's praise him. Let's love him. Let's praise him in the dance. Let's praise him in the shout. My God, hear me. We ought to be willing to stand unto our feet and say, Jesus, I praise you. I love you. The boy we cut a And we love him because he first loved us. 
Amen. And I'm glad the love of God, and it will cover a multitude of sin. And my God, hear me. Well, hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said praise his name in the dance. Honey, David danced, did he not? Amen. Yes, he did. Honey, I believe. Honey, these people tonight, they're going to dance and they're going to shout and they're going to praise him. They're going to run. They're going to hoop and holler. They're going to jump up and down. Well, hallelujah. Honey, the Bible said, if you don't have no joy, I need to leap for it. Amen. And it's sometimes we got to jump up and down. Honey, before the joy will come. Praise him. Amen. I'm glad. Amen. Thank God. You know, you don't have to wear a frown. Honey, you can wear a smile. Yeah. Amen. Honey, I love to smile. I don't like to frown. And I don't like to see a frown on the people. Yeah. Amen. It takes more muscles. Honey, to frown, it does to smile. And you know, you look a lot better when you smile. And you do when you got a frown on your face. Well, hallelujah. I feel the glory of the Lord tonight. Oh, my God, hear me. And it is joy unspeakable. And if we are a child of God, and if we've got something, I need to shout about. Well, hallelujah. And you know these people, and they're watching you and to see if you got the joy to see if you got what you say you got. And my God, that's let the world know. And then we've got something. <laughs> Hallelujah. We've got something to shout about. Honey, the world don't have it. The world can't give it to you. But the world would like to take it away. Amen. Thank God. Boys, I feel this. On the first service of the home, come on. Amen. I believe this is only the beginning. Tomorrow night's going to be better. Tuesday night's going to be better. Wednesday night's going to be better. A Thursday night's going to be better. A Friday night's going to be better. A Saturday day's going to be better. A Sunday morning is going to be better. And Sunday night is going to be wonderful. Well, hallelujah. Oh, my God. And I want you to know that joy comes in the morning. And if I thank God that we can have joy tonight. Woo. Bear with me a little bit, will you? Amen. Thank God. Amen. I'm going to praise him. Amen. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Amen. You ain't going like this, but that's why I'm a good looking man. Honey, I'm beautified with milk. Amen. But salvation. It don't matter how ugly you are. When you be a saved, and you go down to that watery grave and you come out. He said you would walk in the newness of life. I had no life before I came to Jesus. Oh, I thought I had a quarter in my pocket and a cigar in my shirt pocket. Oh, I thought I owned the world. Amen. What I didn't understand was I didn't own nothing. Amen. But when I got saved, amen, God took the quarter out of my pocket and put a green back and took the cigar out and put in a chewing gum. Hey, whoa, hallelujah. I thank God tonight. Amen. I want you to know and he put a New Testament in my shirt pocket. Well, hallelujah. Amen. 
you ever seen people light up a big old cigar, Lord, and they think they own the world? Amen. They're killing you and they're smoking cigarettes, amen, like they're going out of style. Amen. Thank God that some people can't sit in church two hours without taking a nicotine fit. My God, hear me. My God's a deliverer. He wants you to have joy. Well, hallelujah. And the part I don't understand, when a preacher preaches on cigarettes or tobacco or sin or what have you, amen, it takes them, they make them mad, and it looks like it takes the joy out of their heart. If it ain't wrong, what do you get mad for? If it ain't wrong, what do you pop up for? Oh, my God, I'm happy because God delivered me from alcohol, from cigarettes. Well, hallelujah. And Brother Gene, you know where I'm coming from. Yeah, man. I feel like shouting tonight. I feel like they died. Well, hallelujah. Yeah, joy unspeakable and full of glory. My God, my God. Hallelujah. Woo. I'm going to say this. My arm got tarred. You and this, my arm got tarred. It wore it out, amen. But thank God now I don't have to do that. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Well, hallelujah. And I get joy. Joy, 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 joy. <coughs> Can you give me a few more minutes? Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Brother Seth. For the Lord taketh pleasure in who? His people. Pleasure. Pleasure. Can you imagine? The pastor takes pleasure, and Brother Austin does too to see the people gather in like this tonight. Pleasure. You know what you came for? You come to hear the word of God. You come to eat the bread of life. Amen. And this is what you need tomorrow when the devil comes at you. Honey, the day table is spread. And Jesus is here, come and dine. I thank God for the joy. I unspeakable. Well, hallelujah. I'm a happy man. I don't know about you. Honey, but I'm happy to know I can praise Jesus. Amen, and I call on him with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. Amen, thank God. Amen, I want you to know something. The Lord takes pleasure in his people. In his people. You know, everybody's not his people. Everybody won't come to Jesus that they may have life and have it more abundantly. But when he hung on that old rugged cross, he said, let whosoever will come and take over the water of life freely. You see, he don't force you. Amen. You've got to want to. You've got to want to. And I want to serve him at any cost. Amen. Thank God you and me, we're going to die after a while. Amen. And I want to raise, honey, according to the word of God. Yes, sir, I do. Amen. And if we live according to this word of God, amen, and reach out this hand unto those that's lost and undone without God. Honey, we've got a better home. We've got a better place. We've got a better country. Amen. We've got a city that's not made by hand. Well, hallelujah. Amen. And we've got a promise when this life is over, honey, we can go there. 
and I wanna go there. Hey, Amen. He said he will beautify the meek with salvation. My friend, you don't have to dice yourself all up. Amen. You don't have to look like Hollywood. Amen. If you get saved, honey, he'll beautify that meek with salvation. And besides, if you beautify yourself up, you are not done it for your husband. You have done it for another man. Amen. And now, honey, the man is beautifying their self, putting your rings in their ear and in their nose and in their eyelids. My God, hear me. God is not pleased with that. Well, hallelujah. He wants you to have joy unspeakable, full of glory. Yeah, man, thank God. And I'm going to preach it if it hurt lips the devil. Well, hallelujah. <laughs> My God. Honey, the word of God is true. Amen. Yes, it is. Amen. The Bible said, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Amen. When you're laying on your bed, honey, sing a merry song. And it'll bring joy into your heart and into your life. Amen. Thank God. Amen. And these people uh, are laying flat over her back tonight. Uh, they're not able to go to church, uh, but that's where their heart's desire is. Uh, I thought about Sister Carolyn's mom. Uh, amen. We used to visit her, uh, and she could not get out of her bed. Uh, but me and my wife and brother Seth, uh, we would go visit her in Limdud, uh, and she lay flat over her back. Uh, and we would pray for her, Brother Austin, uh, and she'd lay her in speaking tongues. And that body would shake all over because of the joy unspeakable and full of glory. Well, hallelujah. You might not be able to go to God's house, but it don't keep you from praying and he up on your bed. Well, hallelujah. Hold on by ye cut a book, I tell ya. Lord, I want you to know uh, we don't know what we're going to be faced with uh, in this old world. Uh, we don't know what's going to come up on us. Uh, amen. There's one thing for sure. Uh, I've dealt with a lot of people uh, that had Alzheimer's uh, and they didn't know their loved ones, didn't know people, uh, but they never forgot Jesus. Uh, amen. They knew all about Jesus uh, and they would call upon Jesus. Uh, ain't that funny? Honey, that's something, amen. Honey, I want you to know, honey, the Bible said he never leave you and never forsake you. He said, Lo, I go all the way, even to the end of the world. My God, hear me tonight. There won't be no all timers in heaven. Well, hallelujah, no. There won't be no cripples in heaven. There won't be no wheelchairs. There won't be no walkers. Amen. You'll have a brand new body. I need to walk up and down. I need the street of gold. Well, hallelujah. My God, my God. I feel him tonight. Thank God. I feel the hand of the Lord tonight. Amen. I feel somebody receiving this tonight. You need this joy. You need this unspeakable joy. Amen. And you can have it. Amen. I don't care what your family may say about you. I don't care. He may try to stop you from praising God. Amen. But you pray. Praise him anyhow, honey, because joy, honey, will come in the morning. And I believe joy, honey, will come tonight. And you say amen. Thank God for the joy. Thank God because we can praise him. 
and I'm going to praise him to the last breath. Amen, that goes out of this body. Amen, praise God. Oh, and he said, let the saints be joyful. Jesus wants you to be joyful. He wants you to be happy. He wants you to wear a smile and not a frown. Oh, but pastor, the way I'm treated and the way I'm talked about, how can you expect me to do that? Honey, we are supposed to be an overcomer. We are supposed to be an overcomer. A greater is he that's in you and he that is in the world. Oh, my God, we've got power honey, over the enemy tonight. And I'm glad he said, I give you power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And let the light, let the high praise of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. Amen. That's not talking about, honey, a natural sword. Amen. This word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword. It cuts a gun and a covered even to the mire of the bone. Well, hallelujah. And I thank God and it for and it's a two-edged a sword. Well, hallelujah. And the devil I cannot stand and it's a two-edged sword. Well, hallelujah. And I thank God tonight we can carry it. I carry Acts 2.38. Amen. I said Acts 2.38. Amen. A man asked me one time, I brought that out. He said, you mean to carry me? You carry two axes with you? I said, two acts, two thirty-eight. Amen. Everywhere I go. Amen. If the devil bothers me, I'll shoot him. I said, I'll shoot him. With the power of the Holy Ghost. Woo, hallelujah. I'm not ashamed to let the world know I'm apostolic. In Jesus' name, I believe in one God. Believe in the Holy Ghost. Believe in speaking in other tongues. And believe being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It's to you and to your children, to them that is a far off, even as many as the Lord God shall call. Hold up, oh boy. He caught it, the old seed of my God. My God, my God. I feel the Holy Ghost power. Amen. It's worth preaching. It's worth the honor. It's worth letting Jesus know that we love him and we're going to praise him. It may come hell and high water, but Jesus is still the way. He's still the truth. He's still the life. Amen. Thank God. And I'm so glad. Amen. He'll go with you all the way. He said, I stand at the door and knock. If any man will open unto me, I will come in and sup with him. Him, and he can sup with me. A seek, and you shall find. A knock, and it shall be open unto you. Well, hallelujah. I'm glad Jesus came looking for me one day. Amen. I didn't go looking for him because he wasn't lost. I was lost. You was lost. But somebody called your name out in prayer. And he heard their prayer. And he came looking for you. Amen. If you know, when you want to find somebody, amen, and you don't know where they live or where they're at, you go looking for them. 
and you start asking a question. But the main important thing is Jesus knew exactly where I was at. He knew where you was at. He knew where to look. He didn't have to ask nobody. He knew exactly where we was at. And he knows where we're at tonight. He knows that we that's praising him. He knows them that don't praise him. Amen. I'm so glad. Amen. If we can get people into the house of God, I believe God will deal with them. Amen. You're right. Hey, the first time they come, the Lord may not deal with them. Amen. Praise God. I know a pastor one time that said the sinners was too sorry to pray. Amen. You cannot pray and seek God until he calls you. You can pray, but God won't hear your prayer unless the Spirit is drawing you. And he said, my spirit will not strive with man always. That's why you've got to come when the Spirit is dealing with you if you want to get saved. When I worked in the coal mines, hey man, I was a sinner at that time, and We'd get under some bad top, and the top would fall in, and look like we was going to get covered up. This old boy prayed under God. Amen. I prayed, yes. But when I got outside, I forgot about the prayer. Amen. You see, God wasn't dealing with me. I was afraid. I got scared. Amen. Praise the Lord. But one day, <laughs> amen, God called me. Amen. And I'll never forget, Brother Austin, I was sitting in a little old church like we got down Raven. Amen. And God was calling me. Amen. And the devil was speaking to me to leave the church. And I was sitting in a seat, and I'd pull myself up, and I'd sit back down. I'd pull myself up and sit back down. And my mama said, which way am I going to go? Am I going to the altar or am I going outside? Amen. And the flesh wanted to go outside. Amen. But I'd done that for quite a while. And the next thing I know, I found myself at the altar and the people were singing Jesus on the main line and he truly was he was on that main line for me well hallelujah and his line is always open I thank God tonight oh hallelujah hey, amen I want you to know hey, amen the Bible said listen Amen. Hey, something about this. Amen. I want to go over to chapter 150. Amen. And verse 1. And the Bible said, Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. We need to, whoo, hallelujah. Who is it that's got the power tonight? Honey, it's him. We don't have no power unless he gives it to us. All power comes from above, and Jesus has a power. I heard him say all power was given unto him in heaven and earth in heaven and in earth you know we give the devil so much power amen yes we do the devil cannot do anything unless you allow him to amen you've got to allow the devil amen and I tell you the biggest thing is giving her your as a garbage can for the devil to speak in amen and the first thing the devil will do is tell you so and so's talking about you so and so don't like you well you ought to rebuke that devil you ought to plead the blood and say devil I'm not going to accept that amen because Jesus loves you well hallelujah and he will take care of us if we will let him. Amen. And we've got to let God do it. Amen. Praise God. I don't have room for the devil. 
Amen. I say so many times, amen, the devil's got no business here, amen, to stir up trouble. He needs to pack his little dilly bag uh, and go on down the road, amen. Uh, uh, praise God, but now if uh, you want help, we can get rid of the devil, amen, and God will set you free, uh, and you can have that joy like we got. Uh, whoa, hallelujah. Uh, amen, you know, uh, amen, the doctor told me uh, uh, several years ago, ago. Uh, a preacher like I preach is like eight hours of work in the mines. Uh, amen. It does something to the old flesh. Uh, it does something to the old body. Uh, amen. But it's worth every minute of it. Uh, thank God I want you to know that. Uh, I'm not afraid to work. Uh, I'm not afraid to preach. Uh, I'm not afraid to tell the world uh, uh, there is a God uh, and he loves you. A lot of people are afraid of work. They'll lay right down beside them and go to sleep. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I was a boss one day in the mines. Amen. His name was Bobby, not my judge back here. Amen. I had him cleaning belt. Amen. It was cold. Amen. I came down the belt line to check on him. He was sitting there shaking and shivering, wanting to shovel on the belt. And I said, Bobby, I said, if you shovel that coal up, I said, you wouldn't be a freezer. You get warm. He said, da, 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 da. I'd rather freeze any time it's work. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. That's not too good. It is it amen praise God I'm here to tell you it don't hurt you to sweat it don't hurt you to work amen I'm so glad honey I love to work I love to do things with my hands I love to because God gave me a body to work for him and work for my family and work I'm not ashamed of it Oh, hallelujah. Joy. Unspeakable. Amen. And I don't know about nobody else, but when I do something, I like to stand back and look at him. Amen. And see, Brother Seth, what kind of job I've done. Amen. What it look like. Amen. You know, Brother Austin, I believe God done the same thing when he made Adam. I believe he made Adam from the dust of the earth, and I believe he took a good look and said, what have I made? He made a body from the dust of the earth. Amen, but there was no life in that body. Amen, but you know what? He got down. Amen, thank God. And he breathed the breath of life uh, into Adam's nostrils. Amen. Uh, praise God. And he became a living soul. Uh, amen. Thank God. Uh, amen. And when he made Adam, uh, he made he them. Uh, amen. He made the woman. Uh, amen. And he caused a deep sleep uh, to come upon Adam. Uh, and he took a rib out of Adam uh, and made him a woman. Uh, and for the man's help me. Woo, hallelujah. Honey, I'm here to tell you. Honey, God knows exactly what he's doing. About a lot of people will not and listen to the voice of God. Woo. Hey, wouldn't be one man, woman, or a girl in jail and in prison if they'd obey God. Amen. No sorry. Amen. They wouldn't. But you see, the flesh loves other things. They want to do other things. I'm glad me and my family and a whole lot more in this place tonight, all they want to do is serve God. Amen. Do you feel like it all the time? No. Uh -uh. No. Do you feel like working nicely all the time? No. Do you feel like mowing your grace all the time? No. They know. But we got to do all this stuff. Amen. That's part of love. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad? We've got people that will work and do things, and they're happy about it. They were small about it, and they give Jesus the praise and the glory and the honor. Tonight. Amen. 
Some people ain't sweated. Their pores is all stopped up. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. You need to get them pores empty. Open up and let the sweat out. Amen. Make you feel better. Loosen you up. Amen. When you can't raise your arm, amen, keep on trying, amen, and you'll finally get there. You'll start praising Jesus, amen. Praise Him. Woo, hallelujah. Have I got a few more minutes? <coughs> Woo! Praise him. According, excelling to his greatness. <laughs> Praise him with the. Woo! Uh oh. Uh oh. Mighty Orton, read that. I get criticized over this a lot. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Oh, the trumpet's going to sound so loud. After a while, the dead's going to wake up. Hallelujah. Praise him with the sorcery and harp. Praise him with the tambourine and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the low symbols. That's what the people want. Low symbols. Amen. Woo. Praise him upon the loud symbols. <laughs> Let everything that has breath praise the Lord praise ye the Lord everything that has breath praise ye the Lord everything that has breath praise ye the Lord Honey, you know the trees. Honey, praises the Lord. Honey, the trees. Honey, the cattle. Honey, I want you to know everything that has breath that says praise ye the Lord. Let me ask everybody to stand to your feet tonight and let's begin to praise the Lord. Oh my God, let everything let it have praise. Well, I got joy, joy, that's big up on joy. I got your joy, that's big up on joy. I can't explain it, I can't contain it, it's joy, that's big up on joy. It's going like a fountain, that's big up on joy. Going like a fountain, that's big up on joy. I can't explain it. I can't contain it. It's joy. Well, I got the Holy Ghost way down in my soul. Well, I got the Holy Ghost way down in my soul. Because when I think that it's good, that's a Jesus. Well, all you got for me. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, and I set me free, I got joy, joy. I speak up for joy. Well, I got joy, joy. I speak up for joy. I speak up for joy. I got joy, joy. I speak up for joy. 
I can't explain it. I can't contain it. It's joy. It's big old It's flowing like a fountain. Let's go ahead, Pastor. Hey! Well, it's flowing like a fountain. Oh, come on, somebody on the shelf. Don't let him shout by himself. Hey, I can't explain it. I can't contain it. It's joy. It's big old we're well, like out the Holy Ghost, way down in my soul. We're well, like out the Holy Ghost, way down in my soul. We're well, like out the Holy Ghost, way down in my soul. That's where I think of the goodness of Jesus and what He's done for me. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and how He's helped me. I got joy, joy. Oh, I speak up for joy. joy. I speak up for joy. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Woo! Glory! Thank you, Jesus! Come on and praise Him! Come on and praise Him! Woo! Glory! Yeah! Come on, church! Come on and praise Him! Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Woo! Yeah, I heard the voice. Jesus! Hallelujah! Oh, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost! I said I feel the power of the Holy Ghost! I feel the power! Hallelujah, hallelujah. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. Oh, no, 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 no,